Hello guys, welcome to Cooking with Zolana and today we're gonna see how I make kulcha. So I took five pounds of flour that I pre-sifted, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, two tablespoons of salt, I use Himalayan salt, and three eggs. Six sticks of margarine that I melted the margarine is supposed to be hot and two and a half cups of warm water. Enjoy watching the video. Let's start mixing. I like to mix my dough gradually. So first I just mix all the ingredients. Then I add some water. And in the end, I add the margarine, six sticks of margarine that I melted. You can put a little oil on the table. That all pretty much is ready to work on right away. From this amount of dough, you can get 12 kulchas. If you make them smaller, you can get more. Very easy dough to work with. So basically I open it and then I um, put it in a parchment paper. I have this little hole maker uh, thing. I make sure I go over everywhere. Then I just shape them, shape it the way you like it. This time I decided to do with fork and just pinch the sides of them, cut it each section and it became like a nice um, sun. This particular uh, traditional shape, you just pinch it around, also comes out beautiful. Don't forget the egg wash on top and sesame seeds and you can decorate it as you wish i chose for decoration black sesame seeds you just take any shape that you like I think it's a good time to say happy Purim to those who are celebrating. I think it's a good time to say thank you for those who's, who are following me, who are sharing my videos, who are watching me, who are thinking that my videos are enjoyable and they're learning from them. Thank you so much for supporting me. Don't forget to always check my description below i always put something interesting there my recipes or uh, whatever uh, tools i used if i found them on amazon i put them there look at this beauty that came out i love it love it love it it's so beautiful it's so tasty it's not hard to make it you're gonna love it I bake them in the oven on the top rack on 350 degrees. Make sure it's just one layer. Don't overload your oven. I 
My family prefer them thin, but you definitely can make them a little thicker. They also come out so good, so yummy. Look at this beauty. It's beautiful. It's amazing. So happy pouring again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next videos. Bye bye. And of course, if you like my videos, please don't forget to share them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I also have a YouTube channel, which is called Cooking with Zelana, Facebook group, and a Facebook page, Cooking with Zelana. Enjoy your day, everyone.